Bill Hillen at the desk. We are covering breaking news as we have uh, reports of shots being fired in an active scene. This coming in from Broomfield Police right near the Rocky Mountain Airport. We have launched copter that's heading over that area, and I want to show you the pictures that are coming in live now as we see this scene. So this is what we're learning from police at this hour. They're on scene of what they're calling an active shooting. This is the Arista Flats area, and we understand from folks who live in that area, it's normally a quiet area, a couple of restaurants, but as you see, a lot of apartments that around that whole area. They have sent out a reverse emergency notification to folks who live in that area to shelter in place, and that is because this is uh, a very active scene right now. Police telling us that shots are still being fired at this scene. This is an area uh, near US 36 and Wadsworth, right near the uh, Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport. And uh, there's a series of apartment buildings in this area that are all called Arista. So you have Arista Uptown, you have the destination at Arista Apartments, and then you have the Arista Flat area, as you can see here on my map. I'm showing you this, uh, this area to the left, the destination destination at Aristo Apartments, then you have Uptown along here. And this is the area that we have been watching from Copter. Uh, this is right behind the old First Bank Center, uh, uh, right along US 36 that you can almost see from the highway, and I expect that there will be some slowing there. I did t uh, talk with uh, your traffic reporter, Brian Sherrod, who said he has talked with RTD, and this US 36 in Broomfield Station does remain operational at this hour, although they are monitoring the situation because just across the Arista Place here is the Arista Flats apartment where we have this active situation going on. I want to go back out to a Copter, if we can, to show you the scene once again uh, that is out there and kind of tell you what uh, we are processing at this moment. So we have Jeff Todd, who is one of your reporters here at the desk as well. Uh, who lives out in that area. He is heading out to the scene. We have Dale Atchison, who's a photojournalist that is heading out there as well. As you've seen, we have launched copter that is now over this area. And it looks like uh, there are a couple of cars there pulled off to the side. And then you can see the police staging along there. We have this, uh, we have this tight shot now because, uh, you know, we want to make sure that our police officers and SWAT teams, as this is an active situation, stay safe. They have asked copter to stay out of that immediate area. Area, but we do have a very strong lens on this and can zoom in as they do not want to disturb any of the police operations or SWAT operations that are going on at this time. But you can see each of those apartments, uh, it looks like, has about uh, four units in it on either side. They're uh, more like a, a townhouse style as you get closer to the flats there. Uh, and, uh, you know, several winding roads through there as well as right up against Arista Park. Uh, where police have been staging and uh, you can see quite a few people with guns kind of moving through that area uh, to make sure that this area is secure for the folks who live in and around. Again, this is a, just a very quiet neighborhood. A lot of homes, uh, as you look around, there are just a couple of restaurants uh, in that area, but right adjacent to Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport uh, is off to the west there uh, with their runways and their planes, and that's where we store our copter, and they were able to launch and get right over that scene fairly quickly. But as you kind of zoom out into the area, there's, there's nothing in that specific or, or area uh, that would be of super high concern, like a elementary school. I'm not seeing any of those around here. I could be wrong. Uh, those are some of the things that we try and look out for first to make sure that everybody in that area is uh, safe. Again, US 36 runs like right along there, and you can see uh, Highway 128 along here, which is 120th, that'll connect you out to I-25, and then, then right along here you have Wadsworth, and this is the area that we're talking about. You got the UC Broomfield Hospital, and just to the south of that is where we have this active shooter. I want to show you what police are telling us. You can see that they're on the scene of an active shooting, that they have notified the residents to shelter in place. Uh, they are working on putting together a media staging area for us. They are hoping that uh, we can stay back before descending onto that scene. Uh, but Broomfield Police, they are, they are this emphatic. They're saying this is an active scene, is not safe, and as soon as the area is secured and that has been established by officers,
officers that they'll share that here, but the shots are still being fired. So this is very much an active scene as we go back over Copter, and uh, they're making their way, it looks uh, counterclockwise, so we're now able to see a little bit farther down the street at what is happening uh, along here, and I'm guessing that this is uh, along Arista Flats here, is along Arista Place that uh, we have Copter over that scene. Uh, right near the fair Fairfield at Arista, uh, right in that intersection seems to be where everybody is focused right now. You can see some SWAT teams out there and quite a, a few uh, police officers that are in that area. And you can hear uh, our pilot, that's Nate, who's our pilot for the copter, kind of talking to the desk here. They're being asked to go to a higher elevation, again, to make sure to uh, keep out of the way of police, but able to give us an idea of what is going on. I know this may be a scary situation for those folks who live in that area who have received the reverse notification, but uh, again, reports of uh, shots being actively fired at the Arista Flats apartment building. This is right near US 36 and to Wadsworth, uh, right in the uptown Arista Place area. Copter over the scene. We've got Jeff Todd and photojournalist uh, Dale Atchison heading out to the scene as police begin to prepare a media briefing and staging area for us so we can understand more of what is going on. Obviously, our intent always is to keep you and your family safe, and if you live in this area, the way to do that right now, according to police, is to shelter in place. Uh, I, I understand, Michelle, that uh, you're here at the desk, and... Uh, as well at the news desk, the other the other big desk as we continue to follow this news. Obviously a big concern for folks who live in that area and are receiving the reverse notification. As parents, you know just uh, how tough that can be. As parents and residents uh, of that neighborhood, yeah, you are concerned whenever you hear news like this, Joel. We know at the assignment desk you're keeping an eye on all of that, including what Copter is doing overhead. So again, as Joel was saying, there is an active shooter situation. This is in Broomfield in what's called the Arista Flats area. The apartments or the townhomes, those units uh, are called Arista. This is near US 36, near Wadsworth. Broomfield police have alerted us and have also also tweeted out saying uh, that this area is not safe to be in, that nobody should go to the scene here. There are, uh, it's an active shooter situation and there are shots actively being fired right now. This is all on Central Court in Broomfield saying that the uh, area and the surrounding area is not safe. We're going to continue to watch this and continue to give you updates on CBS Colorado Mornings. We'll be right back.